your very uh, advocacy because you are opposed to 287G no matter whether it would be properly uh, uh, administered or whether it were true that, as you allege, that it's racial profile. It's not being properly administered. No, there is no oversight. We believe that this experiment needs to end. We believe that Janet Napolitano and the, the Obama administration need to come up with a comprehensive way to deal with this. Arpaio and the way that he is going about doing this is not right, and that's what we're here to talk about. That's what the focus is. And he blames immigrants of any color and any stripe. It's racial profiling. It's not good. And Lou, on your show, right here, this man said, oh, I don't mind if people uh, call me KKK. That's offensive. He should have resigned right then and there. We don't what? need a public servant saying so he that saying, he's proud right? to be a, part of the Ku Klux Klan. No, 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 no. That's not he's a, racially Bertha, profiling. You know better he, than what you're saying, and you should say you're well, sorry to God. No. Okay, now listen you to You can me. play the film. No, he did no, it right he, here I, on your show. By the way, I remember what he said, and he was responding to accusations that he was KKK. And he said I was proud chart to be called that. Yes. Are you, are you, are you sorry that, you said you, that? You, you, can, no. you really should be. I really am you embarrassed can, for you, you because that is a gross distortion of what the man said well, and Mr. what he meant, and you know Mr. It. Sheriff Arpaio you, you has a gross distortion. That. I, think, I, I right. think that the problem that we uh, uh, have is that people should not be harassed and there should oh, not I, be a I don't distortion. Think any doubt of that. And I think that if, 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 if uh, you're saying that Bertha and Acorn are saying things that Secretary Nala... Uh, Napolitano didn't say, then no. I think it dispels the introduction that these are groups that are aligned with the administration because well, you I can't have absolutely. it both ways. I'm sorry, That's why? how they were introduced, as being, uh, uh, being close to the administration. It, I think what okay. they're saying is they're challenging the administration on 287G. What we're saying is that 287G must be properly defined. If it's too vague, then that it clearly needs to be changed so it's not well, misused. But, you but Arpaio that has a pattern here. Yeah. I don't care what he said on your show, didn't say on your show. The, yeah. I'm concerned about okay. the people being well, pulled be, over just can, because of the color of their skin. That can be established by fact-finding. That's exactly. right. And, and there's, That's a, right. there's no issue of that. He's just but let's be clear. This. But let's be clear that there is a skepticism about the judgment here that's being exercised by the Justice Department because it's a response to a call from four liberal, liberal Democratic Congress people Every group arrayed here is on the side of amnesty, pro-illegal alien, and I don't think I hear anybody here calling for an experiment in border security and enforcement of U.S. immigration law. What I hear is a call for an end to 287G. Well, well, as let me say this. And I the think resignation that, of Sheriff Joe Arpaio. Well, I think I've got that part. I think, I think I got that, that part. there is to, uh, uh, and I, I think you would acknowledge that, there is no monolithic view even in uh, African American and Latino communities in immigration. There are many about, people that agree I mean, you with can, you. Do you, so, you think we could include white folks there and Asians? Yeah, too? well, no, but I mean, you're talking about from the civil rights yeah, groups. So, no, there be, uh, Breath and I may disagree on how to deal with the border. All of us agree that people, because of the color of their skin, should not be stopped. Do and we when all they agree? do, we ought to deal with it. And I, that I was the we basis all, we came in on. I think that anybody who is found guilty of, uh, found to be racially profiling, absolutely should be charged. Well, that's the issue. Well, that's, the that's issue. one of the issues. The second part is, what is uh, the impetus of this investigation? Is it political or is it rooted in civil rights concerns? The impetus or is it of our involvement, I can speak for okay. National Action Network and the call today with all of the groups is on civil rights violation. So Had nothing you to join do with politi politics. And, well, and the impetus so, is say, thousands of people being stopped and profile merely because of the color of their skin. This is a systematic. So, do you um, believe distortion. that any organization? He's a bully and he needs to go, and we need this to spin to 87G. Have you met the man? I, I've met him by his I'm just works. Curious. I'm just curious. You know, our members in, in Arizona have been arrested time and time again. African Americans well, who've been here for a long time. What do you suppose would be said about Acorn? You're being under investigated in 13 states for crying out loud. Oh, I'm glad you brought that up. That's not true. Check the facts. It's not true. You can get on the phone right now. Call the Department of Justice. I didn't you say anything about any, the Justice Department. Acorn is not being investigated anywhere in any state. You don't have your facts correct. If you're talking about people I, being prosecuted, uh -huh. individuals, we are assisting in their prosecution. So Acorn is not under investigation and has not been 
We asked yeah. the Justice Department in October. They confirmed it again and again. And well, you we'll, know what? We'll, Give we'll, them a call. We will. They'll tell you we'll directly. Do it. And I and I was that. As always, good to have you both here. Thank, Thank you. Thank you yes, so much. Thanks.